So this will be a super easy and quick tutorial on how to roast butternut squash and sweet potato. The ingredients are simple, olive oil, butternut squash, I use the cubes because I'm lazy, a lemon washed well, red pepper or cayenne, sea salt, and your sweet potatoes. You wanna cube those into about one inch cubes. Make sure that they're even so everything cooks evenly. And you'll need a lemon zester. I'm using a very small cheese grater, which works just as well. I'm gonna go ahead and, and zest away about uh, one half of the lemon peel. This is the reason for um, you needing to make sure that it's nice and clean. So zest, zest, zest away. And once you get enough zest in there, you can kind of check um, once you get enough zest in there, move on to your olive oil. I used about two tablespoons. Just make sure all of the veggies are nice and coated. Ugh, this olive oil, I was not a fan of it, but um, I went ahead and used it anyway, and um, you know, it just didn't have the flavor that I was used to. Next, go ahead and make sure that olive oil is evenly coating all of the pieces of veggies. Go ahead and add your sea salt. I added about one teaspoon. Next, add your red pepper. I like quite a bit of heat, so I added quite a few shakes, but it's really up to you and what you can handle as far as the spiciness. Go ahead and mix everything together again. You always want that flavor to be nice and uniform. A little more sea salt for good measure. <laughs> Take the lemon you previously used and cut it in half and go ahead and use the juice of half of a lemon. Make sure those seeds are out of the way as well. Go ahead and add all of your cubes to a nice large baking sheet. You want to put it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and start monitoring at about the 30 minute point, but it will take about 40 to 45 minutes depending on the oven. And you'll know when they're done if you can stick a fork in and that fork comes out very easily. Now I had mine with roasted broccoli as well as lentil stew. And if you'd like the recipe for that, go ahead and leave a comment below and I can definitely do a tutorial for you on that. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.